Have you tested your faith? Do you believe in God? Have you been taught that Jesus is God? Listen to what Jesus himself says. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. He said, I have not come down from heaven to do my own will. And he says also in another verse, I can do nothing on my own initiative. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I do not seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. So if he was God, why is it that he cannot do anything by his own authority? And whose will is he seeking to do? And who sent him? Okay, so I know God is not a liar, nor is Christ. So if Jesus himself is telling me, never mind the rest of the scriptures, because I know there are many parables and riddles and these things are written this way to cause stumbling. He is the very stumbling block. But if we're listening to every word that the man says, he said he did not come to do his own will. So that therefore tells me he is not God, because if he was God, he would be lying and saying so, because God gave his only begotten son. It does not say that God gave himself. Even though there are scriptures in the Bible that do sound like that, I will get to those eventually. But right now I want you to pay attention to what Jesus just said. I have not come down from heaven to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. He is serving someone. And he told Satan that it is written, Worship God and serve him only. We cannot worship two gods, nor can we serve two gods. We worship God through Jesus Christ, who is God's firstborn. Through him, God created everything. Jesus said, I can do nothing on my own initiative or his own authority. As he hears, he judges, and his judgment is just. And he said he wasn't seeking to do his own will. He was seeking to serve someone else. Like I said, regardless of like John chapter 1 verse 1, in the beginning was the word. I will explain this. The word was with God. This is he who was with God in the beginning, before the foundation of the world. This is he whom God promised he would send into the world, who served God. God and did God's will as Jesus says in another verse he who sent me is with me he has not left me alone for I always do the things that are pleasing to him so we can see clearly just through his words alone that he is serving someone trying to please someone else always doing what is pleasing to his God and his father the one he serves the ones whose will he came to do. Hear me out, folks. You're about to learn the difference between a preacher who is sent and appointed by God and one who has appointed himself. The scriptures tell you in Hebrews 5.5 5, that even Christ himself, he didn't glorify himself to the position of high priest, but he who said to him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. He was appointed by his God and Father. No man, as it says, takes this honor unto himself, but he who is called of God, as Aaron was. Aaron being Moses' older brother, the head of God's church, the head of God's ministry, forever. And we know that God does not change, but the lying scribes have written them out. You're going to learn the difference between a man who has been taught by God and a man who has appointed himself the preacher of God. A man who is sent by God speaks the words of God. So ask yourself if you still believe that Jesus is God. Whose will did he come to do and who sent him? And if he was God, why is he saying he's not doing his own will? And who does God serve? God bless him.